and welcome back to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. I'm your host as always, Litecoin Leader. Today is a blend of both the past and the present and potentially the future. And it's going to be entertaining for me as I look back. And I started by looking back at the very first piece that I covered on this channel, which was only four months ago. And I've, I've made some, I've definitely covered some ground since then. Uh, I still need to probably upgrade my camera. The, the camera. the camera I'm using is not as good as the other one, which I don't have anymore. So long story short, I need to upgrade my camera. Um, but I went back and watched the very first video and it was kind of cringeworthy for me just to see where I was. But I guess it's kind of nice to see where I've come from and where I'm at now. I feel like I'm a lot more comfortable talking to myself. Uh, I do it a lot. I do it all around town. They probably think I'm insane, but hey, that's what I do. And I pretend I have an, uh, an earpiece in my head, in my ear all the time. So just, it's easier that way. Just when you, people talk to themselves, you're like, oh, he must be on a the phone. There you go. But I went back and looked at the very first piece and I, I promised everyone that I'm going to re-release all the videos after the, the game was over. And that's what I'm doing. So these are going to be self-contained videos for that hopefully will be lasting a longer time. And we'll talk about, we'll, we'll reuse the news, we'll reuse the charts, we will, so you'll see some of the history here, but I'll, I'll touch base again on where I presently feel about the same coin now. And today's coin, we're not hiding the coins anymore. It's Litecoin. Yay, Litecoin. My very first coin, the first coin I purchased way back in 2016, um, launched my journey, been crazy ever since, but here we go. Uh, I still love the coin. I, I'll touch on the rating briefly afterwards. We're doing a scale one to five rating just to keep everything balanced and we'll be rebalancing after the game is over. But let's dive right into the news and some of the information that's interesting and also the charts of Litecoin. And then we'll go back and touch on the video that I recorded four months ago, just back in April. Just a quick reminder that nothing in this video is considered financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Seek out your own advice and do your own diligence. Do your own research. There are actually quite a number of differences between Litecoin and Bitcoin. Even though they're both proof-of-work coins, meaning that it takes a miner to create more coins uh, and they run a mining algorithm to create the next block, uh, there are a number of differences. First off, Litecoin has 84 million coins versus Bitcoin's 21 million. They both have an upper cap or upper bound on the number of coins, so never be more than the, that number, which is great as far as knowing how many there will ever be and planning accordingly. But um, the similarities also diverge in how often those blocks come out. Litecoin produces a block every two and a half minutes. Uh, Bitcoin takes around 10 so it's not exact because there's the level of difficulty set for the miners so that on average it'll be 10 minutes for bitcoin two and a half for litecoin but on average litecoin will produce four blocks for every one on bitcoin uh, also the the language that's used for bitcoin versus litecoin is different bitcoin uses an algorithm called sha-256 i won't go on the technicals about it but it's, it uses an encryption code that, that's part of the cryptographic nature of it um, whereas Litecoin uses something a little bit lighter and easier to port around called a script. So that makes it much more easily incorporatable by other projects and other products out there so that Litecoin can partner easier with other projects. Uh, looking at the numbers of Bitcoin versus Litecoin, if we jump over to uh, CoinMarketCap briefly, we can see Bitcoin is obviously the number one coin. And we're looking at about a trillion dollar market cap with 18 and a half out of the ever existing 21 million coins already mined. Litecoin at coin number nine sits at 8.6 billion versus 1 trillion for Bitcoin, significantly smaller. And 66 and a half or so of Litecoin that will ever be made, 66.7 million out of a potential 84 million Litecoin that will ever be made have already been mind. Uh, Litecoin and Bitcoin also have a halving event every four years where they reduce the number of coins that are rewarded per block. Litecoin's last most recent one was in 2019, so it'll be 12 and a half Litecoin produced for every block until 2023. It's about two years behind uh, Bitcoin's schedule who just went through another halving to take them to six and a quarter just, just this year. So, or I'm sorry, last year. 
going back to the original article, we could talk about some of the, the discussions about the use case of Bitcoin versus Litecoin. There is a mention of the gold versus, here it is, Bitcoin is considered gold, digital gold. So it's a store of wealth versus Litecoin's digital silver, which is more of a means of exchange. There are other coins that compete with Litecoin for that, that, that title or that use case, such as Bitcoin Cash. But Litecoin is the number one that's far ahead out there as far as time in the marketplace. Um, I mentioned the proof of work earlier. I will, again, include this article later. Um, yeah, and Litecoin is much faster as well. The security is a little bit different than Bitcoin. Litecoin has never gone down. The network has never gone down. Bitcoin went down in its first year when they had to reset the network. But they're both extremely, score, ex, extremely secure blockchains. And Litecoin's never gone down. And the transaction speed, even though the security is just a little bit less, a little bit different, the speed is very quick. You can move coins quickly and efficiently and cheaply with Litecoin. That's often why it's recommended for people just getting started to go ahead and get a get a get a couple of Litecoin and just practice moving a Litecoin or even fractions of Litecoin because it costs maybe a dime to move a Litecoin and just send it back and forth just to get some practice with it. Now let's take a look at some of the recent articles that are out there about Bitcoin and Litecoin and what's being incorporated on both networks. Uh, a number, um, number one major item that should be mentioned is the Lightning Network. Both coins are on the Lightning Network, and this is considered basically a side chain or a secondary layer or a layer two solution to the blockchain. In other words, it's like rather than have everything written to the main blockchain, which can take a while, it can be not as effective as doing it every so often. You think about it as like setting out some money each day for you to spend and then resolve at the end of the day. So the Lightning Network allows you to do that. So you're allowed to transact for a while and then it'll resolve at the end of the day to merge the ledgers onto the main chain. So the Lightning Network allows you to go much faster while you're on the Lightning Network because you've already secured the Bitcoin and Litecoin there for the day and it comes back and it's the speed goes way up which is the major plus for Bitcoin because Bitcoin cannot be used very easily for transactions because of the sluggishness of its network by design. Uh, Litecoin would seem to be not as uh, beneficial for Litecoin because they almost have all these features already so now this helps Bitcoin to tr compete with Litecoin but the fact that both are now going to be available on everywhere the Lightning Network is accepted means that Lightning Network will use both and easily play along with both. A lot of people will not want to spend their Bitcoin, but will use Litecoin as their spending pile and their Bitcoin as their storage or saving a wealth pile of, of wealth. So it's just a... It's a common um, understanding that in psychology, people associate coins with one particular purpose a lot easier. So this is the, the Lightning Network's major thing to hang your hat on right now is that Visa and MasterCard are very likely to use the Lightning Network as the cryptocurrency equivalent of the SWIFT network or the Visa and MasterCard network that's currently being used uh, for transactions. Visa and MasterCard are very likely to adopt a Lightning Network, which will be a big boost to the, the, the use case of both Bitcoin and Litecoin and the demand on both. So since Bitcoin is going to be more of a store of wealth, Litecoin could see a huge uptick in demand as Visa and MasterCard move towards incorporating the Lightning Network to add cryptocurrency as, an, as a payment option. Other features have been added to Litecoin recently as well. There's been talk about Mimblewimble for quite some time, and that's finally been added as of last March. Uh, and what Mimblewimble is, is a privacy, privacy standard. So you can incorporate a feature at your choice where you can anonymize your transactions rather than looking, having your address being very easily found on the blockchain through a blockchain explorer. You can add Mimblewimble, which adds a, a level of privacy and anonymity to any transactions. So that's a benefit. Another benefit of another network is the Flare network, which originally was starting with XRP, but now is working well, with their Spark token, the, the Flare token, to work with Litecoin owners. So there's going to be an airdrop of Flare coins to Litecoin holders. What does that mean? What will it benefit to the Lightning network uh, for like, Litecoin? Litecoin will now have the availability of the Flare network's ability to incorporate smart contracts. So now you're going to have a major coin that's not Ethereum, 
able to do smart contracts. So you will have a coin as a means of exchange that will be able to do smart contracts. That's not going to be a feature for Bitcoin. So imagine, so now you have a coin that's, you have two coins that are on the, the Lightning Network, and only one of them has smart contracts. So the smart contract will afford them to do many new things and many additional features that will not be afford, afforded or available to Bitcoin users. So where I am regarding long-term view of Litecoin, this is the one-day chart for roughly a year, I believe. Yes. So you can see that it was pretty stagnant and dormant last fall, living in the $50, $40 to $50 range. But in the last six months or so, we've gone from 50 to over 200. So that's a significant move. And granted, Bitcoin has made some significant moves too. But as those that are saying that Litecoin's not moving much have not been looking at the last six months. Looking just at the year to date. Looking just at the year to date, uh, we can see a little bit more of a zoomed in viewpoint where Litecoin hit in the 230s and pulled back and went back up and pulled back again. So this made sort of a W shape, which is similar to a cup shape, the handle, and measuring, and one way to technically measure this instead of target would be to measure the depth of the cup which is roughly $70 US, and then adding that to the neckline of the cup, which is roughly 230, so call it 300. A reasonable target in a short time frame would be about $300 for Litecoin. Going forward longer term, this is the Litecoin versus Bitcoin chart going way back. This is, I believe, a five-year chart. So I drew a general trend line. When I first got involved with Litecoin, it was roughly 50 Litecoin for every Bitcoin. Now we're in the ballpark of about, let's see, that would be, oh, I'd say probably around 300 Litecoin for every Bitcoin. So you can see this general trend has been downwards, but as soon as it starts to curve up, it may curve up, curve back up and retest this trend line and then start to take off. A lot of people have said Litecoin could eventually wind up being four to one to Bitcoin which is not out of the realm of possibility, but that's probably a little bit rose-colored glasses in the best case scenario. Odds are 50 to 1 is a reasonable hope to get back to the 0.02 level, which is this level back in 2018. And if that was to happen, that would be roughly a 6x move compared to the speed of Bitcoin going up. So there, there's a lot of appeal for Litecoin for the long term, and for me, it's one of the longer term holding targets that I like to look at. So it's a brief synopsis of Litecoin. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk about more coins in the near future. So today's coin, once again, Litecoin. And as you can see, the tone and the, the tempo and the volume and the presence kind of have changed and evolved, I think, hopefully in a good way. Over the last four months, I feel a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more comfortable, uh, and things will just evolve from here. But I wanted to retouch on the uh, all the coins, get them re-released, -re get the names of the coins and the titles. So here's the video on Litecoin. It's got good content. I still rate it as a five out of five. Um, on a bad day, you might think I, I'm, I might go down to a four and a half. But the project is essentially done. It's 10 years old. It turns 10 in October. Not many projects can even say that. Uh, I think it would only be Bitcoin and Litecoin. There might be a, uh, maybe one or two others that can eke out that length, but it's, it'd be close. Um, but in the 12-year space, a coin that's 10 years old has got a lot of power to it. And there's two reasons that this coin is really going to be valuable in the future. Without going too much into the details of what's going to happen or what I expect to happen, Two things can really lead towards Litecoin mass adoption. One, Bitcoin gets very hard to obtain, and we're starting to see that now. Supply squeeze is happening for Bitcoin. Number two, and this is going to be a little bit more of a leap of faith, but is the current means of exchange with swiping cards and using banking, is that going to have problems? One that has problems and it breaks down, we're going to be left with pretty much two things. We, we won't have cash. So it'll be left to... Do you have other things to barter with? Do you have silver or gold? That's one. Not many people are going to carry around. Not many people have silver and gold. They'll start there. But gold is going to be very hard to barter with because even in small flakes of gold is worth hundreds of dollars. Silver, 
a silver dime could be worth 20 or 30 bucks in the future if the banking system does implode and that's where silver goes because 14 dimes make up a, an ounce of silver of the of the junk or pre-1965 dimes so imagine if let if if silver winds up being 420 dollars all of a sudden because the banking system has crumbled around us all of a sudden that old dime is worth 30 bucks so now that's much easier to transact with even at 20 bucks i would put silver at 280 dollars so it's possible but in any event litecoin and bitcoin cash are your two most likely coins to succeed in the in the in the world forward that, that lacks cash and lacks a solid banking slash credit card system. It, we will need a means of exchange to purchase goods and swap things for one another. We do, we will need money. Money has survived over time because it's much easier to trade money and have things denominated in money instead of, or currency. I use them interchangeably here, but money is money store of value. Currency is allows you to transact. But Coins that can transact locally quickly with um, a large supply of them. So this is where Divi will, might struggle because Divi, while it's great on answering the first two, can you can transact quickly, you can send it and send it and receive very quickly. While it's a great, the the the, uh, the availability of Divi is going to be the problem for Divi. That's going to be the one concern of that that coin. Um, Dogecoin and XRP are pot potentials as well, but the number, the top two that are prevalent everywhere, Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. Those are your two most likely coins to move forward in a system that lacks banking structure. Could that happen? Yes, especially in today's modern times where we have banking banks sloshing money back and forth overnight, like it's like it's going out of style. They're printing money digitally, like it's going out of style. So. It's possible. It's possible that the banking sector could be in, in trouble. And that would be a massive upside for Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. Now, speaking with Litecoin today, as that's the coin for today, um, other things that I like about the product is that it's basically done. And some people will say like, well, what have you done for me lately, Litecoin? Well, you can say Nimble Wimble, which is, it, it, it gets its name from, I think, from a spell from Harry Potter. I really, what my, you know, I didn't go down that road too much, but Anyway, that's that allows it for privacy. So they've added that privacy feature. It's also part of the light, the lightning network, so that you can transact very quickly. And that's going to be in a lot of point of sale devices, which will help if banking starts to have issues. The only two coins that I know that are strongly in the in the lightning network are Bitcoin and Litecoin. So look for the and if Bitcoin is unobtainable, hi Litecoin, welcome to your future. So with all that said, I really see a bright future for Litecoin. I think the price point, not financial advice looks attractive here. I will have to incorporate the not financial advice video in here too and put that disclaimer in here. But that's the video for today. Retouching on Litecoin, getting the name out there, getting the visibility to this video, getting the news and the charts, getting a, a, a fresh touch on it and knowing that I probably need to upgrade on my camera at some point, but I'll get there. But for right now, we're going to focus on content. I thank you all for joining me on the video today. More information is down below if you want to reach out to me for any questions. And with all that said, I'm going to close the drill on the bureau and I'll see you next time. Yeah.